Well, good morning. That's a two hour trek from Peterborough, and we're down in darkest Kent again. I said I'd come back. Um, got a very busy day and a half in Kent to try and cover a lot of sites and see what we didn't see a month ago. That's the plan. I'm not going to reel off the plants we're going to see. I made that mistake last time, but we're just going to hit it hard for a day and a half and hopefully pick up as many of those plants that had not yet reached flowering point a month ago. Looking forward to this one. It should be good. It really should be good. They should be in flower now. Um, and we're starting off starting off at Bonsai Bank, which is the spot where we saw all of those Lady Orchid rosettes. I don't expect them all to be in flower, but I'm expecting a lot of Lady Orchids, and that's good. So yeah, this was always going to be the starting point. Uh, really up for this one. So let's crack on and see if it delivers this time. Right, here we go. Let's see what this place has to offer. I see lady orchids.
was uh, hoping to find some flying orchids here. Uh, I know they grow here, always tough to see. Yep, good job, good job. Probably about half the uh, half the rosettes we saw a month ago were in flower, but that's probably what I expected. And uh, yeah, what a fantastic sight, and uh, what a lovely orchid the lady orchid is. And we've seen most of the different varieties you can get here. There's a pure white one um, that exists, very hard to find. We might find one later today, but who cares? You know, uh, beautiful orchid. Uh, good to see a fly orchid. I uh, would like to have seen a few more. I'm, I'm reasonably confident we'll see some more fly orchid uh, at some of the other sites, but this, this was the big lady orchid site. Not that we won't see them elsewhere, but this was the big one. Uh, and I was looking forward to this one, and it hasn't let me down. That's uh, Bond's Eye Bank for you. Superb. Right, site number two. Yocklet's Bank, um, Lady Orchid, possibly Fly Orchid. It looks like a Fly Orchid site, or it did a month ago when we were here. And, and whatever else it might throw up, it just looks like a good orchid site. Uh, it's famed for its Lady Orchid, so uh, I won't get bored of seeing them today. So, yeah, it should be good. Wow, lady orchids on the horizon. What a lovely sight. This was the bank at Yocklet's Bank that uh, blew me away really a month ago. I knew this was going to be good. It was just a too dry and too cold back then, but we've had the rain and we've got rid of the frost and now the orchids have appeared and they're all over this bank. Lovely colouring on that one. Or well, those two should I say. Very pale, nearly white. I must admit this is probably my preferred colour scheme with the sort of pink fringing around the edge of the flower. Sets it off really nicely. Two variations here, side by side, is the darker, darker reddy purple brown almost in the hood. 
Then you've got this one, which I prefer, which is lighter with a more red hood. That's a nice early purple. Very nice even. No shortage of uh, common tway blades on this bank. Lovely colouring on that one. Bit of a belter. That is an absolute clonker. Full on clonker, that one. Another very nice one. I like that. Try the other side of the reserve. That's a very nice lady orchid. Just about a conquer that one. Very good. I think that's a white halibrine. It's, it's certainly a halibrine, and I'm sure it's a white halibrine. Uh, in bud, not in flower.
Yay, at last, fly orchid. Bingo. I knew they would be here somewhere. That's a very nice, was it one, two, three, four stems? Lots of flowers to come. Oh, it's a big hill to get out of Yocklet's back. A bit of a slog back to the car. But that's good. Yeah, full set. Nothing else there that I was looking for. Uh, good to see the fly orchid at the end there. And a nice one too. Um, a third of the big sites I wanted to do this morning was Park Gate Down. That's where we're going next. Here we are, back at Park Gates Down. Uh, didn't really deliver a whole lot last time apart from a few stunted early purple orchids, but we were early, or well, the season was late, whichever way you want to look at it. I did mention a military orchid here, a uh, load of rubbish. There's no military orchids here. It's hardly military orchids anywhere um, anymore, certainly not in Kent. Uh, monkey orchids, that's what this site is supposedly famous for. Uh, the biggest and best colony of military orchids anywhere in the country. Doesn't have a lot of competition to be honest, there's only about two other sites where they grow. Um, somebody did mention a week ago he couldn't find any so I'm not guaranteeing we'll see any today. It's probably a wee bit early but a lot of fingers crossed on this one because I'd really 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 like to see a monkey orchid. Uh, there's a few others here which we'll hopefully find on the way around, a few other species so uh, we're going to have a good wander but hopefully we'll find a monkey orchid, he said. Hopefully. Why is everything uphill? <sighs> oh, what is that? What is that? That is a monkey orchid. It's only just opening, but it's a monkey orchid. And if I don't see another one, there's a flower there at the top with a little monkey hanging off it. So they are here. There's another one a few feet away, so it looks like they're just starting to flower. Hopefully there's going to be one somewhere that uh, is more in flower. Fingers crossed again. The early purples we saw a month ago are still, still hanging on. I've seen about five or six now, all in bud. I suspect this is going to be the best one of the bunch. Nice little set of early purples. battered by the wind.
yeah I know we've been here already uh, I had to come back um, yeah a small world and all that I actually bumped into somebody on whilst going around Park Gate Down who's a friend of mine on social media an orchid fanatic and he tipped me off about something that is here that, that uh, I didn't see this morning uh, I've got to try and remember his instructions now to try and find it it won't be easy but it will be worth it I will say no more until such time as I find it hopefully Oh God. So frustrating. That is a green fly orchid. Very, very rare. I've never seen one before. And the one flower it had down the bottom there has gone. And the rest are in bud. <laughs> After all that. But that would have been a green fly orchid. Um, like I say it's a very rare variant and uh, I don't know I can't really count it can I with no flower on it it's a shame at least there's a nice little standard fly orchid next to it The fly orchid. And one more. So frustrating that one. I was really looking forward to that. And I think I won't name him, but you know, you know who you are. Thanks for the tip off. It nearly worked. Just that one flower and it had gone, dropped off, vanished and the others haven't come out yet. Um, that would have been something special. Right, before I kill myself going up this hill, uh, that's the end of the morning session. Uh, I've got to try and find a hotel now, recharge batteries, both for the camera and me, and then back out again later this afternoon for what I hope will be the rarest orchid on this trip which will be the late spider orchid saw the early spider a month ago the late spider is even rarer it's really protected caged electric fences and people don't tell them tend to give away too much info as to where they are but i've had some help thank you again to those who've helped me i think i know where they are and we'll find out this afternoon so we'll see you then Well, pretty spectacular views. That's the uh, channel, channel, channel tunnel entrance. Uh, damn busy place that is with Folkestone in the background. Uh, we're up on the cliffs above Folkestone uh, and I'm hoping there's a late spider orchid site up here. I don't want to say too much about where it is because uh, these are exceptionally rare. Um, if you want to know exactly the location, you'll have to drop me an email and I'll try and help out. Um, that's if we find it and that's if we find them because as I say, they are exceptionally rare and this is one of two places where well if you can find out where it is there's one or two places where you've got half a chance of seeing them so fingers crossed we're going to take a look it's very windy up here i hope it doesn't screw the sound up too much um, but we're on top of a cliff so there you go 
there you have it it's hard, damn hard to get to these uh, that's a very 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 rare late spider orchid a little bit like the early spider orchid but as you can see a more sort of bulbous fat bee orchid shape stunning plant there are not many of these Well, that was it but well well worth seeing well worth seeing someone said there's four or five of them in flower but i, I just could only see the one uh, it is a strictly enclosed area so you can't really get in and if they're near the back you're just not going to see them it's just that one that's near the front described recently as the most photographed orchid in britain uh, and i can see why uh, but a lovely thing to see um, I'm probably going to nip down to samphire ho i might change my mind in the next few seconds but we're not far from samphire ho um, and I don't know whether there's any more early spider orchids there uh, but we're sort of in the vicinity so I might as well go and take a look and uh, see what's what even if it will be very blustery <laughs> Whiz round Samphire Ho. I'm not going to hang around too long, just want to take a quick look. There was one person, only one, who said there were quite a few early spider orchids here, which I find hard to believe, but after uh, last time, but yeah, I've got to check it out. Might as well as I'm over here. You never know. Nothing, nothing at all, diddly squat, naff all. Um, yeah, I didn't think there should be. I think that's just that one rogue report. I think he was having a bit of a laugh saying that there were loads here. Um, I read somewhere a couple of weeks ago that they think the numbers here will just diminish and vanish really because they moved in in their thousands literally when this uh, man-made peninsula was first established because they had the place to themselves but like one or two other orchids like bee orchids do the same once once you get the normal sort of rough pasture grasses and and other plants moving in they don't like it you know they, they don't like being crowded out and they they vanish I and mean, it's been a tough obviously with the drought and the cold there are excuses for there not being many around this year but it sounds more likely that this is becoming established now as a sort of rough pasture land and um, it just doesn't suit the the early spider orchids so I, I doubt they'll ever come back to the thousands or even the hundreds here you might get the odd one or two each year as we have this year but I think the days of it being spectacular uh, are over sadly hope I'm wrong but yeah I think that's the case uh, I'm, I'm nearly done now I am knackered it's been a long day very long day um, I'm going to head to Y Nature Reserve uh, on the way back to the hotel it's quite close to where i'm based uh, why was the one other place where late spider orchids uh, grow and i spent a long time trying to work out where the highly secretive site was and i found it well, i'm pretty sure i found it so it would be stupid for me not to go and have a look even though i was told um, earlier today that someone who visited uh, to no end of last week friday i think it was the end of last week uh, reported there was nothing there but uh, I might as well pop in on the way back to the hotel and check for myself you never know and then that'll be it 
the uh, entry and exit to this place is pretty remarkable. You have to come down through the cliffs, through a tunnel. Um, it's quite uh, crazy, spectacular stuff. I did try and film it on the way in, but the camera fell off the dashboard, so I'll try and grab something on the way out. It's all traffic, traffic light controlled. You can only get one vehicle going in one direction at any one time, so hopefully we won't be held up too long. Right, we should be somewhere here, and I think they're caged, so the cages should give it away. But I don't see any at the moment. Uh -huh. Cages. Is there anything in them? Dead cages. Can I have a look? There's one in there, but not in flower. Yeah, nothing. I think the empty cages probably say it all, really, that uh, there's not many here, not this year. Looks like four cages, and I could see something in one of them. And that was it. Shows how lucky we were to see the one we saw at Folkestone, really. Right, that's it. That's it. Back to base now. It's been a busy day. What time is it? Seven o'clock. Four in the morning till seven in the evening. Um, got about, well, heading home tomorrow, but there's three sites on the way. A um, couple of general sites, but one claims to be um, home to the biggest colony of man orchids in the country running to thousands so that kind of got in my head when I read that and thought well I know I've seen man orchids before uh, in and around Peterborough but uh, that sort of number sounds pretty uh, mind-blowing so I've got to see that and it's kind of on the way home so uh, that'll be the last stop so still some things to see tomorrow so uh, yeah that's it I'll see you then Good morning. Uh, it was a lovely blue sky, sunny morning about half an hour ago. It's now clouded over, but it's still uh, it's still bright. 
uh, it's not too cold. Uh, we're at Stockbury Hill, uh, mainly because we were passing Stockbury Hill on the way home, so I thought I'd pop in. Uh, lots of references on the internet to the occasional uh, plants here. Uh, lady orchid, it'd be nice to see our last lady orchid before disappearing home. Uh, things like lesser butterfly orchid have been seen here, although it's a bit early for that. Uh, fly orchid, you never know. Uh, so yeah, just going to have a wander around Stockbury Hill and uh, see if anything turns up. Early purple orchids. Good to see something at least. interesting Now that looks interesting. I see something white. Good heavens. It's a very, very large and very, very white early purple orchid. Very, very nice. Don't see many of these. Very nice plant indeed. It's a very, very nice plant as well. Beautiful colours. Some very nice early purple orchids in this uh, in this wood. Still pretty much in their prime, which is pretty good, considering it's nearly June.
I think these are probably lesser butterfly orchids in bud not far off being in flower as well I'm pretty sure it's what they are there you go I found one a wonderful lesser butterfly orchid there's quite a few around here but this one is actually in flower that's a real bonus Superb. I see lady orchids. Fantastic. Fantastic. I thought there were some here. Brilliant. Quite a tall flower. Beautiful. Lovely colouring on that one. Wow, what a start to the day, or what a start to the morning really. Uh, Stockbury Hill Wood, did not expect that. Um, I saw some, what I thought a month ago, uh, Lady Orchid rosettes, but I wasn't certain. But there must have been 70 to 80 of them here. And uh, yeah, that, that white early purple orchid, and, and wow, that, that lesser butterfly orchid, that's only the second one of those I've ever seen. Uh, saw one at Norfolk a couple of years ago. Um, that was brilliant and there were five or six others in that patch but just not yet uh, in flower but uh, yeah it's great to start the day with something better than I expected I've got a couple more places to uh, stop off at on the way home so yeah if they're half as good as this it's gonna be a good morning Green Down Warren uh, popped in here a month ago. Didn't see anything much, but it's got a CV, an orchid CV, as long as your arm. So uh, one of these sort of uh, 
little bit of everything type sites, which can mean a whole lot of nothing. But you know, if uh, Stockbury is a marker for today, then it should be good. So we're going to have a wander around and see what uh, Queen Down Warren has to offer. Nothing, nothing. It's uh, one of these typical Kent sprawling landscapes where the terrain looks fine. It's all scratchy, short, tufted soil. Usually great for orchids, but unless you've got local knowledge, you've got no chance. You could wander around here all day and see absolutely nothing at all. So if you ever come here, get some local knowledge. Um, we're wasting your time, really. So I'm not going to waste my time going to crack on to the final site which is the self-proclaimed largest man orchid site in the country um, I'm intrigued absolutely intrigued by this one so I'm going to race on and take a look and let's see if it uh, stands up to the height see you in a mo here we are Darlin Bank Darlin Bank man orchids this should be good <laughs> Certainly get some views up here. Well, it's certainly a bank. Just need to find if there's some man orchid. There must be. I need to start looking properly. Oh, a man orchid, no less. <laughs> Whoops. Somewhere down there, there's a man orchid. It's going to be quite uh, early in the season, um, although this one suggests at least half open. Uh, and a man orchid, a man orchid. We see these up near Peterborough. Uh, the aim today is to try and find some variations. If there's as many here as they say there are, we could see one or two, at least slight, not dramatic, but slight variations. That's really what I'm looking for. There they go. Darlin Bank man orchid, one of supposedly very many. That's better, more like it. These are very nice. They're going to be fully open, or well, they're not. Three quarters open.
I've been looking for a sort of yellow man orchid. Um, a sort of soft, buttery, single tone yellow. This is probably the closest I've seen so far. In contrast to this more typical sort of red streaked colour, which is still quite nice. That's a dark one. Another quite yellow one. With a sort of regular, regular coloured man orchid behind it. I'm not sure you can see on the camera the sheer number of man orchids on this bank. It is huge. There are hundreds on this bank alone. It's hard not to uh, to tread on them as you're walking around but uh, yeah absolutely huge numbers here What an incredible sight. There's more man orchids here than there is that's probably in the whole of Peterborough added together. It's incredible. They do almost grow like weeds here. Some nice colour on that one. I seem to be finding more of these than I do the uh, pure yellows, which I'm not sure I've actually found one of yet. Darling Banks, absolutely mad, absolutely mad. I don't know, I, I, I'm sure there are thousands here. I probably saw hundreds. Um, yeah, you, you, I mean, there are places, and it's patchy, there are places where there's none, and there's places where there are so many that it's difficult to walk without treading on them. Um, so, you know, if you do come here and you don't find them at first, persevere, because they're here, and it's madness you know they should share these out across the country because i think there's more on this site than there are in some counties put together um yeah they're only man orchids but brilliant to see them in these sort of numbers uh just a crazy place so between now and probably mid to late june if you're ever down this way and you love your orchids darling banks look it up and, and come on down here it's great superb that's it now back to the car and heading home uh good trip yeah yeah i mean you can always find things that you wish were different that green fly orchid would have been brilliant but that aside i mean more than made up for with that late spider orchid uh today's uh, lesser butterfly orchid and i mean that was fantastic and you know the star of the show was always going to be the lady orchids and they were brilliant you know never get bored of seeing them and I've seen a lot of them and uh, and that was fantastic so yeah everything I hoped the trip would be I uh, don't need to do Kent again certainly uh, certainly in the years ahead shouldn't say that because I'll probably be down next year but no seriously uh, I think I've done it justice now um, and thoroughly enjoyed it so uh, yeah 
onward and head for home now. A couple more hills. My knees are going to pay me back for this, I tell you. Ah. Just walked past the local with a camera, um, shooting orchids. And he said, he said, you want to go to such and such a road, just round the corner, he said. He said, there's a bank there on the side of the road, he said. He says, there's loads. I nearly said to him, I've seen loads already. But he was so excitable. I kind of think I've probably got to go and have a look. So I'm still on my way home, but I think I might just drop in at this road and see what he's getting excited about. Can't resist it. That's what orchid nutters do. <laughs> Hope I haven't got to climb that. Let's go and have a look at the sign. Seen this sign already. We're obviously at the very far end of Darlan Banks as it comes out onto the road. Let's just have a quick wander at this bank. There we go, we've seen it. Um, nothing different to what's on Darlin Banks really, it's just a different setting. Um, you can see just behind me chalk, let me just tilt the camera up a wee bit. Just see it at the top there. If I control my camera, there it is. Yeah, it's a chalk. Chalk limestone, chalk bank, and uh, the man orchids are going to love that. So. Uh, yeah, go straight through Darlan Banks out the other side onto the main road and there is a nice uh, different setting really for the man orchids, but they're more of the same, uh, nothing that stands out, but uh, yeah, I would never get bored of seeing these. Right, now I am going home, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> 